So today we are going to learn how to create a new map in Final Alert 2, which if you don't know is the application used to create maps in Red Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, or um, CNC Net if you have that. So in order to create a new map, just head over to this icon over here, create a new map. So you want to select multiplayer um, and then hit next. So the width and height, uh, this determines the uh, map height and map width. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it at 50 by 50. And the theater of the map is actually what determines the certain terrain style of your map. So I'm going to go with temperate and starting height, that doesn't really matter. Um, that's for advanced purposes. So for this tutorial sake, we're not going to focus on that. So this is a 50 by 50 map. Uh, if you want to confirm that, you can just, um, there is a spot where you can check. Oh yeah, so if you go to edit and map, it'll show you the height. And I actually, can you actually change it? Oh yeah, you can. I actually never knew that myself. That's pretty cool. So yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend changing the height midway of creating or working on the map. Um, if you want a reference, you can just open up, uh, maps you already have downloaded and then if you see a map that has dimensions that you like you can just uh open that map go to edit and then map and then see those the dimensions of that specific map and then you can choose whatever you want so if we go to ground there's actually a bunch of options you can use brush size is for uh many things so you can actually uh paste some terrain over here you can select which terrain over here and the brush size, well, that's just the brush size. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, you got sand and then you got pavements and then you got water. Now, the thing with water is that the dimensions of water are actually um, technically four times as bigger as the other terrain. So for example, I'm gonna select a ground one. A 10 by 10 ground one is gonna look like this and a 10 by 10 dark grass is gonna look like this, literally the same size. But water on the other hand, and I actually don't know the reason behind this, but it's always going to be um, twice the width and twice the height. So uh, mathematically, that would be four times the area. Um, so just be aware of that. And yeah, so you can place objects here. So you got allied objects. This is going to be neutral. Um, when, when you uh, place stuff like this, it's going to be neutral. Um, you can place pretty much anything. Um, you got chronosphere and then soviet buildings stuff like that yuri buildings and then this is where the juicy stuff comes in if you've never edited a map before here are the tech buildings right here so you can place stuff tech uh, machine shop tech outpost and we'll create literally whatever to your disposal you got buildings here and there you got um other buildings you got stuff that uh goes together you kind of have to like paste them if you want v3 literally anything that is showing up here it is up for you to use so yeah and uh yeah so this is just going to going to go over the basics um aircraft again these are going to be neutral um i mean you could place aircraft here Although I don't see a use for it. If you really want to, you absolutely can. No one's going to stop you. Oh yeah, you even got vehicles here. So again, these are going to be neutral if you add them. Um, I don't know if ships, if you place them on water, it'll obviously work. But if you place ships on ground, I don't know if it'll like explode right away. Um, vice versa for vehicles. So if you put vehicles over water, as soon as the map starts, they're actually going to sink. So just be aware of that. You got um, terrain objects, so you got trees over here. You got different types of trees. You can place them down. You can drag. Um, there's even a paint random trees option, which uh, I'm going to go over that in another video. This is, again, this video is for beginners. You got traffic lights here. You got ore mine. These ore mines uh, are the things that create ore. Um, the difference between these three is that uh, <clears throat> the first one creates some ore the second one creates twice as many third one creates three times as many as the first so yeah and then you got more objects here i'm not gonna go too in depth you got smudges here so you can like put craters and 
whatnot, and burns. Special overlay, so, um, ore and gems. So this is how you can place ore and gems. You can see the credit on the map. That's how much money is on the map. Gems, uh, you can also do the same thing. And then the brush size you can determine. Gems are worth more than ore, just an FYI. I don't know by how much, but they are worth more than ore. Bridges, um, I'm going to go over bridges in another video because that's a little bit more complex than beginner stuff. Um, mainly, uh, waypoints, just uh, ignore that for now if you're a beginner. Cell tags, also ignore that. Base nodes, ignore that. Uh, tunnel, also ignore that if you're a beginner. Um, I mean, if you want to actually, like, there is a beginner mode, which if you go to options and beginner mode, it basically shows, like, the beginner stuff. But, you know, you can always toggle that off. So, yeah. And player locations. This is super important. Oh, wait. I don't have the minimap showed up. Yeah, here it is. So, you can see the minimap. This is what the map looks like. Yeah. So, the minimap is going to be in another window. Player 1. I will say, uh, you got to get used to uh, player 1 being 0, and then player 2 being 1, and then player 3 being 2, and so on and so forth you can delete player locations so um yeah so now there's only four players in this map so let's just go ahead and save this file just for tutorial sake i'm gonna call this like arc test dot map now the file name and the actual name of the map that goes here are two different things so you gotta for for ease of sake please just make them pretty much identical. The map name is what is going to show up in the actual interface, but the file name is what's going to be, well, in the files when you click open and then a map. So I'm going to call this arc test. There we go. I want to preface this. If you are using CNC net and you want your map to actually appear, you got to make sure, um, even if you save it as a dot map, it'll still some, some, for some reason, save as a dot YRM. Just change the file extension and then it'll not damage the map. So open CNC launcher. Okay, so if you don't see your maps, you wanna make sure that you go here and then click standard. This is where all of your custom maps are gonna be. Um, well, keep in mind, I have a lot because I, I didn't create these by the way. This is just, I just imported it into the custom folder. But uh, if you don't see these maps, basically what you wanna to go to, uh, you wanna to go to your where CNC net is, command and conquer, red alert two, go to the maps folder, go to custom, and then all of the maps that you create go here. So yeah, but I have a lot because I, these are ones that I imported, but you can search the map. So arc test, there it is. And as you can see, um, you got some player positions here. Okay, so as you can see, it crashed the game, and the reason for that is because if you actually go to the map, so I'm going to reopen it. If you actually go to the map, as you can see, the player position, um, it's 4, 5, 6, and 7, which is players 5, 6, 7, and 8. You want to make sure that the player locations start from 0 and then go up, because if it skips values, then it's going to crash, and I think that's exactly what happened. So, again, for tutorial sake i'm just gonna put some there there we go i'm gonna save it again i'm using cnc net so i'm gonna save it as a dot map because i have to or else it won't work you want always i'm gonna make sure that you replace the file extension do you want to to arc always delete the older version first and then get the new one you can tell which one the newer one is by the time it got saved okay so now let's reopen that map okay so now if we go to arc test as you can see the the player numbers actually showed up properly so yeah and then i'm just gonna go in the world there we go Warning, chronosphere detected. New construction We're options. Away, there we go. Building. Just, there we go. Now you can see my screen. New construction so yeah, this options. is the map. Building. It's playable. Construction complete. 
Yes, Building. Securing position. New construction High options. Speed, drag. Battle control terminated. Now, if you notice something, it did say warning chronosphere detected. That is because um, in the map we did place a chronosphere somewhere. Yeah, we, we placed it there, so just be aware of that. It's going to obviously detect that. But overall, you got... You can place tech oil derricks. Here's a trick. Um, so you can actually use the keyboard and then, for example, if I press T, it's gonna go to the next object that starts with T. If I press T again, it's gonna go to the next one that starts with T. So this is really helpful if you wanna find a tech building and then just like scroll through, or traffic lights, I guess, also get detected because they also start with T. And this works with any letter in the alphabet. Although building is very, uh, there's a lot of them, so good luck trying to find the one you want, but yeah. So, if I press C, it's going to go to every object that starts with C. Um, and then it's going to loop back around like that. So there we go. These invisible light, uh, these light posts, don't worry about that too much. But, um, and yeah, you could see that there's a little bit of like water artifacts here. So we could just clean that up. It can get a little messy with water. Water is very like delicate in terms of like actually like map editing. But yeah, so feel free to experiment around. Um, and then you always want to make sure if you're using CNC net, you want to make sure even if you save it as a dot map in your files, it'll show up as a dot YRM. It's stubborn, but just delete the old version. As you can see, this one's saved at 925. This one's 928. It's currently 928 right now. So this is the old version and then replace the YRM with dot map. There we go. And yeah, that's the very basics of map editing.